Greetings again, everyone. Sir Morgan here again from the technical department. Now, if you should take a look at my title block, you will notice that the topic for today is types of lines. Now, just as though you're in your English class and you have to use correct words, when in technical join class, you have to use the correct type of line. All right? Now, I'll be showing you today about seven types of lines that exist in technical join. Please note, there may be other forms of lines. However, these are some of the most commonly used types of lines in technical join. For the ninth grade level, you will mostly be using construction and outlines, right? So these will be our two first lines that I will show you today, the construction lines and outlines. Before we start, I just want to leave a quick tip with you. Now, when we are using our pencils, right, we want to always ensure that the point of our pencil is sharp, right? However, it must not be too sharp so that the point resembles um, a needle, right? So you cannot draw a line with a pencil that is overly too sharp where the point is resembling a needle. All right, I will now go ahead and draw my construction line. Now, please note, the construction line is a line drawn that is very thin, right? And I must emphasize this very thin and light, all right? So it's not all that visible, right, to someone that is standing afar off, right? It shouldn't really be visible to someone standing afar off. Again, the construction line is very thin and light. I will now go ahead and demonstrate how to draw this construction line. Please note, very little pressure must be applied to your pencil when drawing this line. All right. I'm not even sure you will be able to see this line, right? But it's there, very thin and light. Now, the second line that I want to tell you about or to teach you about is called the outline. Now, the outline is a line that is thick and dark. Now, outlines are used to highlight margins and visible edges or, surf or surfaces, right? So, outlines are used to highlight margins and visible edges and surfaces, all right? Now, the outline is thick and dark. I will now show you how to draw the outline. In order to draw the outline, you must now apply pressure to your pencil and you will use a different pencil, right? So the first line we drew, it was using, it was done using the 6H. We are now going to be using our 3H to draw our outline. Now, in order to draw the outline, I have to apply some pressure to my pencil. Right, because I need the line to be thick and dark. Right, so here you can see the outline thick and dark. Right, and at the top, you can see that this line is is thin and light. Now, when we are drawing our lines, we should always remember to have our blade of our T square. Right, the blade of our T square. This is this section firmly against the side of our join board, right? Because we want to ensure that lines are always parallel to our horizontal lines are always parallel to our title block, right? And that will ensure that our work is neat when we are finished. Okay. The next line that I want to focus on is called dimension lines. Now, what are dimension lines? Dimension lines are lines that are drawn very thin and also they consist of arrow edges. So dimension lines, they are thin and they also have arrow edges at, the, at, the, at both ends. Now they are used to show various measurements of an object. So dimension lines, they are used to show various measurements of an object. Again, they are thin lines with arrow edges 
at the ends. So I'll now demonstrate how to draw a dimension line. Very thin line. It's a little more brighter than the construction line. And at each end, there is an arrowhead. So I'll now be, you know, trying to get my arrow head at the end of the dimension line. Now the arrowhead is shaded. Right, there we have it, our dimension line. Now the next line we want to look at is called the hidden detail line. Now this line is thin and it consists of short dashes. Now it is used to show where there is an existence of an hidden of a hidden edge or a hidden outline, right? So the hidden detail line, it is thin, it consists of short dashes and also, it is used to show the existence of a hidden hedge or hidden outline. I will now demonstrate how to draw this line. Now, we are going to try our best. We are not going to do measurements, but we are going to try our best so that the lines um, will have even length. And the spaces between the lines will be of the same measurement. We are not going to take any measurement. We are just going to try our best to achieve even spacing and even lengths of our line. I'll now go ahead and do so. Okay, so here we now have our hidden detail line. Okay, the next line we want to look at is called our center line. Now, the center line is a thin line and it consists of long and short dashes, right? It is commonly used to identify the center of circles and arcs. Again, our center line is a thin line. It consists of long and short dashes, and it is commonly used to identify the center of circles and arcs. I will now go ahead and demonstrate how to draw a center line. Long dash, then a short dash. Another long dash, then a short dash. Another long dash, then a short dash. And finally, a long dash. Here we have our center line, right? Another line that we want to look at is called a cutting plane line. 
right? Another line we want to look at is called a cutting plane line. The cutting plane line is thick and it consists of long and short lines. It also consists of arrowheads at both ends, right? It also consists of arrowheads at both ends, right? Now, these arrowheads are terminated with a nine, at, at a 90 degree angle. So the arrowheads will be at a 90 degree angle. I will now go ahead and show you how to draw the cutting plane line. So we'll have long dash, short dash, long dash, short dash, long dash, short dash, and a long dash. Now, I'll now need to indicate the 90 degree that I told you about just now. 90 degree, that's right here. Another over the other side. And the arrowheads will be at the top. The arrowheads will also be shaded. Okay, so now we have our cutting plane line. Long, short dashes. 90 degree and on top we have our arrow heads right okay the final line i want to look at today is called is called our long break line now what is a long break line a long break line is a thin continuous zigzag again a long break line is a thin continuous zigzag now the long break line the long break line is used to remove or break out right or we can say cut away a view or a section of a join right it is used to remove or break out or we can say cut away a section of our drawing I'll now go ahead and indicate this long break line, which is a thin, continuous zigzag. Right, I'll now try to get the zags or the zigs as you may want to call it. Okay, so there we have it, our long break line. So today, we looked at about seven lines. The first line is a construction line. Construction line is very thin, very, very thin and light. Then we have our outline, which is thick and dark. Now we have next our dimension line, which consists of thin lines with arrow heads 
at both ends, we then have our hidden detail line, which is a line that is very thin and consists of all short dashes. Fifth, we have our center line, right? Which consists of long and short dashes. Short dashes and also long dashes. We then have our cutting plane line, right? Which consists, consists of long and short dashes, right? Which is terminated with 90 degree arrow heads. So here we can see our 90 degree right there. 90 degree angle and the arrow heads at the top. And finally, the last line we looked at today was our long break line, right? Which is a thin, continuous zigzag. If you did not watch the videos on how to, to tape your paper to your join board or how to, prove, how to draw your title block and border, then you need to go in, in my channel and look for those videos. Have a wonderful day. I'll now be labeling my lines. What I will do is to draw two construction lines that are five millimeters away from each other and parallel, right? So I'll first use my T-square to draw this first line. Then I will draw another line that is five millimeters away. So I will now use my set square to measure five millimeters. Now I indicated on my paper with a dot that I can see. Then I will use my T-square to draw another line that is five millimeters away. Now what I will do is to lay to indicate on this line the type of line that is on the left side, right? So this line right here is the outline. So I'm going to write outline here and some information in this line about the outline. I will now label all my other lines using the correct lettering style. So now I've finished labeling all my lines. So we have the construction line, the outline, dimension line, the hidden detail line, the center line, the cutting plane line, the long break line. 